so low power techniques for static random access memory so this is architecture of an static random access memory a static random access memory consists of ram cell arrays this is nothing but ram cell arrays row decoders sense amplifiers column decoders and peripheral circuits peripheral circuits is outside then it is column address line data io lines and row address lines this is if you take a each cell the sram cell consists of the first diagram shows four transistor cell with the resistive load this is 1 2 3 4 this is nothing but a resistive load so initially the sram for one bit cell is constructed with the four transistor with the resistive load so the resistive load leads to more power dissipation that can be reduced by use of the resistive load can be replaced by the pmos load if the pmos transistor we know that will reduce the power than the resistor so this is six transistor cell with the pmos load this makes efficient use of the area but there is a constant static current that flows through the cell as sram size increases the static current needs to be decreased otherwise the total static current of the sram becomes intolerable the static current has to be much larger than the leakage current of the transistor for the proper operation of four transistor cell so in four transistor cell design reaches a limit because the static current cannot be further decreased and sram cell using six transistor with the pmos load can reduce the static current to the order of leakage current of cmos transistor but it takes more area for the cell layout so the reduction in static current from a resistive load to a pmos load could be several hundred times so low power sram design the six transistor cell is typically used so in aggressive low power design high density rams are required to operate at very low voltage level to reduce power dissipation the threshold voltage of the device is often reduced to compensate for the speed degradation due to low output operating voltage the reduction of threshold voltage leads to exponential increases in static leakage current of the sram cell and could become a limiting factor one solution is to use multiple threshold devices in the memory chip for example the memory cells use higher threshold voltage devices to reduce leakage while the rest of the peripheral devices use low threshold devices to improve speed speed a more exotic solution is to adjust the threshold voltage dynamically by adjusting the back bias voltage of the transistor when a memory bank is activated its threshold voltage is reduced for speed and during standby mode the threshold voltage is increased to reduce leakage this technique has also been successfully used in dram memory bank partitioning this is going to be improve the power efficiency of the sram a well known technique used to improve speed is to partitioning a memory array into smaller memory bank so that only the addressed bank is activated the word line capacitance being switched and the number of bit cells activated are reduced the partitioning can be applied hierarchically to produce smaller memory bank however at some point at the delay and the power overhead associated with the memory bank decoding circuit dominates and further partitioning becomes harmful two to eight partitioning bank are appropriate bank so this is the Con in a conventional sram the bit lines are allowed to swing rail to rail during a read operation while performing the read operations the bit lines are uh, swing between rail to rail rail to rail means supply to ground 
to conserve power the voltage swing at the bit lines need to be limited one way to achieve this is isolate the memory cell from the bit lines after a successful differential sensing this prevents the memory cells from changing the bit line voltage further in some cases the bit line sense amplifiers also need to be isolated from the bit line after sensing this prevents the bit line capacitance from having large voltage swing this saving power this method requires pulsed signals at the word lines and the sense amplifiers so this is going to be performed the read operation this is complete signal is given once the read operations is obtained this will be populated okay these are all the bit lines this is order so the dummy bit lines are included to performing the uh, proper uh, read operations for power saving this is nothing but the generation of word line pulses is very critical because if the pulses are too short if pulses are too short the sense operations may fail so on the other hand if the pulses are too long the power efficiency is degraded because the bit line swings between the duration of pulses a simple technique is to use delay line to generate pulses with a fixed bit delay lines are susceptible to process temperature and voltage variation a better method is to use the feedback mechanism from the bit lines since the goal of pulsing the word lines is to limit the bit line swing a bit line swing detector can be constructed and an additional dummy cell column the height of the dummy column is to set 10% of the regular column and the cells are tied to a fixed value this means that the capacitance of the dummy column is only 10% of the capacitance of a regular column thus when the regular bit lines reach 10% swing the dummy bit lines have reached full swing and triggers the pulse shutdown this limits the bit line voltage swing to a precise range with much less sensitivity to process variation temperature and operating voltage so this is the uh, final diagram in some srm sense amplifier design the amplifier may swing the bit lines after the cell access transistors have been turned off this defeats the intent of the pulsed word line implementation which is reduce bit line swing a method to solve this problem is to use bit line uh, isolation technique the sense line is asserted to initiate the read sense amplifier after a sufficient differential voltage has developed on the bit lines the isolate signal is asserted to isolate the sense amplifier from the bit lines this prevents the sense amplifier from further swinging the bit line capacitance the isolate and the sense signal need to be timed properly to balance the trade off among noise immunity power dissipation and sensing delay